and it looks like I have it all together and you probably wouldn't even realize it. I'm kind of reading here because this is very important. That's probably the number one comment I get or I've seen on other mommy bloggers videos. I can sense some jealousy. I never even realized that. The whole like exposing sort of thing makes me feel very naughty. <laughs> Hello everyone, welcome back to my channel. If you're new here, my name is Faith. Thank you so much for being here. I never in a million years thought I'd be making a part two to my exposing mommy vloggers video that I posted a year ago now, at least a year ago. It might be longer than that, but YouTube is super weird and you can post a video and no one will watch it. I don't mean no one, but like you'll just get your average amount of views that you will for your channel. And then all of a sudden, a video can just like pick up steam and get a lot more views. I don't know how this happened, but in the last couple months, that video has picked up like 20,000 views. So I kind of wanted to make a part two because when I saw that it was getting a lot of views and I saw some comments and things like that, I rewatched the video and I feel like I could have done a better job or maybe made it more of a well thought out video. It was definitely a spontaneous video. I did not take notes on what I wanted to talk about. I kind of just sat down in my living room and spilled my guts. So I figured I could do a part two with a few points that I want to further explore for you. So we are doing it. If you are new here, I am a mommy vlogger. I guess I do a lot more sit down videos now than I used to. I've been trying to get back into the vlogging, but it's a lot. It's a lot. And I only have one child. I don't know how these people do it with like four or five children. But one of the things I talked about in the video was not to, I guess, judge yourself or feel bad about yourself if you don't wear makeup, don't do your hair, don't do anything because you're just too busy. Uh, it's hard when you watch these mommy vloggers and look at me, I have my hair done, my makeup done, and it looks like I have it all together. And because you're just seeing me on camera, you probably assume that I do this every day and that I am just this super mom with my fake lashes and everything like that. So I, I touched on that a little bit. And when I went back to watch it uh, more recently, I was kind of thinking about this. It is part of mommy vloggers, a mommy vlogger's job, like part of her job to look good. So it's human nature to want to watch people or be entertained by people that present themselves well. So it is part of their job to do their makeup and do their hair. If you are a full on stay at home mom, it's part of your job to do things for your household, do things for your family. If you're a working mom, it's part of your job to go do whatever your job is. And that probably doesn't entail doing your hair and makeup. This mommy vlogger type of job does require an effort of making yourself look presentable. So keep that in mind. It's part of their working hours to like do their hair and makeup. Another thing I noted, and this is true in my case, if you go back, like pick, pick a mommy vlogger that you watch and go all the way back to the beginning of their channel, I bet you nine out of 10 times that channel started as a makeup or beauty channel. Mine did. That's how I started my channel. And I know that's how a lot of the now mommy vloggers started their channel. So what does that mean? That means that the type of person who is a mommy vlogger is someone who probably has a background in makeup and hair or who at least really enjoys doing their makeup and hair. So of course they're going to be doing it more often. So I used to be a complete makeup junkie. I also love doing hair. That's part of my personality. That's part of what I like to do. So I feel like you can be easily discouraged watching mommy vloggers who are all put together, but you need to keep in mind that that's probably just the type of person they are. If it's someone who's like willing to put a camera up to their face all the time, it's someone who wants to look good doing it. Do you know what I mean? I'm sorry if that doesn't make sense, but I'm trying to make this as clear as possible. The reason I belabor this point is because that's probably the number one comment I get or I've seen on other mommy vloggers videos is like, how do you have time to look so good? Oh, you're so pretty, this and that. And I can sense some jealousy. I can sense 
um, you know, pe women tearing themselves down, other moms watching tearing themselves down because they're seeing these mommy vloggers who look so beautiful and have their makeup done. So that's the reason I kind of belabor that point and wanted to bring up that point first. Number two, mommy vloggers get sent so much product for free. So much product for free. And you probably wouldn't even realize it. I'm kind of reading here because this is very important. If it seems like they are always getting new things, unboxing new things, ha getting new clothes, getting who knows what, it's most likely free. Don't compare your finances or what you need to purchase to theirs. So you might be watching someone and thinking, oh my gosh, YouTube must be making them so rich because they always have these new clothes or they are constantly getting new toys and clothes for their babies and whatever. I promise you, I don't have a huge channel. I get a package almost every day. Brands just send you stuff once you have a teeny bit of a following. So I just want you to keep that in mind when you watch vloggers constantly unboxing things or having new clothes or having new home decor or a new rug, it was probably sent to them. And sometimes they'll disclose it, but a lot of times they won't. And I don't think it's even intentionally leaving it out. I think it's just that these mommy vloggers, and I'm included in this, we receive so much product. It'd be ridiculous if you said it every single time on camera. Like, it would literally be like me on camera being like, oh yeah, Summer's gonna do this and this was sent to us, and oh my shirt, this was sent to me, and that, like, I'd constantly be saying this is sent to me. And I'm not in any way saying this to, like, brag and be like, oh, I get all this cool stuff, I get sent all this fun stuff. It's definitely a perk to the job, but I'm more just flushing this out because I would not want anyone to compare themselves to a mommy vlogger who's constantly trying out new products or getting new things, if that makes sense, and thinking like how, like they must be able to afford that because they have this YouTube channel and if I start a YouTube channel, I'll be able to afford that. Um, it has very little to do with the financial side of it and more to do with them just being sent a ton of product so I hope that that makes sense next and last thing and this kind of does go off of the last point is the things they do buy and you'll notice this especially at the end of the year the things that vloggers do buy can be tax deductible if they are using them specifically for a video so I never even realized that um, I remember catching myself and being like how do these people that either do like hauls or like try on clothing hauls or even just vlogs but like showing all this stuff they bought how do they afford that and what i didn't realize is a lot of that stuff is tax deductible and it actually benefits you especially if you're a smaller channel to basically buy up as much as you earn from youtube because then you don't have to pay as much in taxes you can deduct it so keep that in mind too. That's something I never even realized and it's something that I am sure a lot of people take advantage of. They will buy things to use specifically or show specifically in a video and then deduct it from their taxes. Just throwing it out there. Okay, that is it guys. I wanted to make it pretty short, simple, sweet. I wanted to flush out some more mommy vlogger exposing things that made no sense. I feel like I got very, um spicy in this video but I don't know the whole like exposing sort of thing makes me feel very naughty <laughs> I hope that this video maybe gave you some more insight as to what it is to be a mommy vlogger or maybe just made you feel a little bit better about not comparing yourself so much I never want my channel to be one in which um, makes you leave feeling less than feeling jealous feeling like you're you don't have enough um definitely in my vlogs i try to show the more raw side of me i'm not always made up when i do my sit down videos i am but i'm not always made up in my vlogs and i try to keep it real so i hope that you enjoyed this video check out my vlogs if you're new here and check out my other videos too i'd love to have you join the fam subscribe uh that is it though guys i love you all so so much and i'll see you in my next video bye